Hello and welcome to Cosmological Arguments. I'm your host, John Bannon. The beginningless time paradox. The beginningless time paradox proves the existence of God by demonstrating that the beginning of time itself must have had an uncaused, timeless cause we call God. If time in the cosmos had no beginning, then there would be an infinity of prior moments in time before the arrival of the present moment. An infinity of prior moments of time could never be fully traversed because there would always be a prior moment in time that had not yet been traversed because infinity is unending. If all prior moments in time are not fully traversed, then paradoxically, the present moment in time could never arrive. Because the present moment in time does arrive, then time in the cosmos must have had a beginning. Because time must have had a beginning, then time must have been caused to begin from something besides nothing, because nothing cannot cause anything. The cause of the beginning of time not having time for its own cause must therefore be uncaused. Moreover, the cause of time itself cannot be something subject to time, because the existence of anything subject to time is contingent on the existence of time. The beginning of time itself cannot have a physical explanation, because all physical explanations would be subject to time. Accordingly, there must be an uncaused, immaterial explanation for the beginning of time itself we call God. The beginning of this time paradox uh, shows you the paradox that would exist if there was an infinite regress of time backwards forever. So, if time never had a beginning and it was unending, you could look backward in time and say, well, time never ends. But if that was the case, then the present moment could paradoxically never arrive, because there would always be a prior moment that had not yet occurred before the present moment could arrive, because the infinite regress would be unending. So because there's this paradox, that is the present moment does arrive, we know that the solution to that paradox is that time must have had a beginning at some point in the past. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're talking about just one universe or a multiverse of uh, cyclical universes. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Time has to begin at some point in the past even if it were in prior universes. But because the time connects between universes uh, in a multiverse, for, for example, uh, still, some at some point, there would have to have been a first universe or a first beginning of time. Now, I'm not suggesting the multiverse is real. There's absolutely no scientific evidence or proof that it is. But even if you're confronted with that sort of argument, there's the time, the uh, beginningless time paradox proves time still has to begin, even in a multiverse scenario. Um, because time has to begin, and because all physical natural explanations are subject to time, that means that no physical or natural explanation is possible for the cause of the beginning of time. Um, those things uh, can't be explanations because they're subject to time. So time has to exist in, in order for those natural explanations to work. And since we're talking about the cause of the beginning of the time, those natural or physical explanations can't possibly work, can't possibly be the case. So the beginningless time paradox clearly requires a metaphysical cause to the beginning of time that we call God. Um, just looking at the evidence, there is no physical reality that we know of that 
uh, is timeless. Uh, if something were timeless, it would have to always exist. Uh, there is no scientific proof of anything in the universe that has always existed. Even the expanded singularity of the Big Bang, and Big Bang cosmology, uh, no longer exists. It has expanded into our universe. Um, you can't have something, some physical thing, that uh, doesn't always exist if it were timeless, because then you would be talking about a situation where something exists and does not exist simultaneously, which is impossible. So uh, you, you can't have a timeless uh, physical thing that can appear and disappear, for example, like a photon. Um, that would mean it, it exists and doesn't exist simultaneously, which is logically impossible. So there is no evidence of anything in the universe, a physical thing that is actually timeless, that has always existed uh, for an unending eternity. Um, so the beginningless time paradox is a great argument. Uh, it beats every atheistic uh, explanation for the existence of universe because all those atheistic explanations are natural based and they all incorporate time. So because time has to begin, all those atheistic uh, arguments get thrown out the window. Now, if you want a symbol for the beginningless time paradox, I would use the following. So we have a series of crosses, which indicates God, but this also indicates uh, segments of uh, discrete time. So you have to have a beginning of time. Uh, uh, I hope you learned something, and take care.